Hi, I'm Dr. Franklin Yao with Vanguard Vascular and Bain. In this short video, I will be discussing with you surgical access creation in preparation for initiation of dialysis. We will talk about the different vascular options and how to choose between them. Thank you for tuning in. I will have answers to all your questions coming right up. Many of our patients with a long-standing history of diabetes and hypertension develop irreversible damage to their kidneys over time. The function of the kidneys are to keep the electrolytes in the blood balanced, to remove the waste products of metabolism, and to remove the excess fluid in the system. When the kidney function decreases below a level necessary to support your body's function, initiation of dialysis is necessary to replace the kidney's function. There are two available types of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis removes part of the blood from the body and utilizes a dialyzer membrane or an artificial kidney to filter the blood and return it to the body. To be able to do this, a surgical access has to be performed so that you can safely and sterilely remove the blood and return it to the body. If dialysis has to be started urgently, a catheter can be placed immediately and dialysis started right away. These catheters can be inserted into one of the large veins of the upper extremities or the lower extremities and can be performed in less than 30 minutes in the cath lab or at the bedside using local anesthesia. These catheters are designed for temporary use or as a bridge to a more permanent surgical access for dialysis. Permanent surgical access for dialysis is accomplished by surgically connecting the artery to the vein in either the upper or lower extremity creating what is called an arterial venous fistula. If the vein in the extremity is not suitable for surgery, then insertion of an artificial graft can be used as a substitute. These procedures can be performed as outpatient surgery, and depending on the surgery performed, can be used immediately for dialysis, or may require waiting six to eight weeks for them to be ready to use. These surgeries can last for several years if appropriate uh, proper maintenance is performed. Adequate maintenance can help avoid or correct problems such as the arteriovenous fistula clotting off, becoming infected, or wearing out. The other form of dialysis is called peritoneal dialysis. In peritoneal dialysis, a catheter is inserted into the abdominal cavity for the administration of a fluid called a dialysate. The dialysate absorbs the waste products from the blood vessels through the lining of the abdominal cavity. The fluid is usually administered at bedtime and left to dwell in overnight to do its work and then removed in the morning. The main advantage of peritoneal dialysis is the independence it offers the patient because you do not have to go to a dialysis center. The main drawback of peritoneal dialysis is that the patient has to remain vigilant to keep the catheter sterile and clean so that the peritoneal fluid in the abdominal cavity does not become infected. Finding a board-certified vascular surgeon to help you create your arteriovenous fistula and maintain it will be important to sustain your overall health and to prevent complications. Routine surveillance will be important to keep these arteriovenous accesses uh, functioning properly. For more information, please contact us at vanguardvascularvein.com. Thank you for watching this video.